In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate the effective annual rate or EAR using the Texas BA2 financial calculator. Now, here in my example, I'm assuming that the stated annual interest rate is 6% per annum. And we are going to illustrate the calculation of EAR for different compounding frequencies from semi-annual to quarterly, monthly, daily, and continuous compounding. Now, here I've also used the formula to calculate the effective annual rate. And later on, when we use the calculator we, uh, function, we will compare the output from the calculator with what we have here on, this, on uh, the slides. Now, first off, to access the interest conversion function, we will press second two. Okay, so that goes into the ICONV worksheet, which stands for interest conversion. The first item you will see on the calculator is norm which is the nominal interest rate per annum. In my example, that is 6%, so I will type 6, okay? And then uh, you can scroll up or down, but there's only two other things there. If I scroll down, there is EFF, which is the effective annual rate, or EAR. If I scroll down again, there will be compounding frequency per year, uh, CY. Uh, by default, it's 1, and of course, uh, we can change it according to the scenario. For semi-annual compounding, I will change that to 2. That means uh, interest is compounded twice a year, every 6 months. Then I will move up to EFF and press Compute, CPT. That gives me 6.09% per year. Okay, so in other words, if the interest is compounded every half a year, that is 3%, 3% every 6 months. So it compounds to 6.09% for the whole year. For quarterly compounding, we'll change the compounding frequency to 4. Okay, and then move up and then press compute. So the EAR will be 6.1364%. For monthly compounding, that will be 12. Okay, and then uh, we will press compute again. So that gives you 6.1678%. Okay, for daily compounding, I will change that to 365, assuming this uh, is not a leap year, it's just normal year. So that's 365 days a year. Okay, and uh, that will be 6.1831%. Okay, for daily compounding. Now for continuous compounding, you can use the formula, which is the exponential of the stated annual interest rate, which is 6% minus one. Okay, or of course, if you are using the financial calculator, you just have to assume that the compounding frequency is a very large number. So I'll probably put something like, let's say 100,000, okay, something big. And then uh, I will move back up to effective rate and then press compute. I will get 6.18365, okay, it rounds up to 6.1837%. Okay, so that's, that's the effective annual rate for a continuous compounding. Now, if I were to use the formula, okay, manually, so let's say uh, I'll type 0 0.06 and then I'll press second natural log ln. So that gives me 1.0618. So I will minus 1 and then that's in decimal. I'll convert that to percentage. So that gives me 6.18365%. Okay, so which is what we have here. So that's how you use the interest conversion worksheet to generate the effective annual rate. Okay, given that you know the nominal interest rate and you have the compounding frequency per year. And the calculator also allows you to enter the effective rate, okay, and then you can compute the nominal interest rate. Okay, you can work it backwards as well. Uh, the only thing you cannot compute backwards is the compounding frequency per year. Okay, so that, that because as you can see at the top of the calculator, there is no compute uh, word there, text there, that means you can't compute the compounding frequency given the nominal year and the effective year. Okay, so if ever there is a question where they provide you the nominal rate and also the effective rate and they want you to work out the compounding frequency per year, they would have given you a series of choices in the options, like is it semi-annual or quarterly or monthly, you can substitute the nominal rate Okay, type it in and then try different compounding frequency and see which one gives you the effective rate that you are looking for. 
okay uh, that matches the the one in the question so that's that's one way to tackle that